everyone and welcome to this month's look at some of my favorite in progress projects being made with the unreal engine i've created these to help get some eyes on indie or small team projects and links to the games and relevant socials where possible will be in the description below if you're working on a game or project that you'd like me to take a look at and potentially cover here be sure to let me know links may get blocked in the comments you can find my email through my about page or get me on twitter and leave a comment below just to give me a heads up also be sure to let me know if there's anything here that you'd like to see more of. In no particular order, number 5, Button Pop. Prepare yourself for the oncoming hordes of angry buttons. Defend yourself by building a variety of turrets and generators to produce energy and coins. Embark on an adventure across a multitude of biomes collecting riches along the way. Earn coins and expand your collection of hats, special effects and buttons and survive as long as you can and pop that button at high speeds to unleash coin multipliers. This is tagged as an action RTS power defense. This game offers a fun take on the genre in a simple but charming style with plenty of juice and polish. Personally, I love minimal and stylized games, so this one is definitely on my radar. The juice and the polish injected into the project got me hooked, and the range of collectible items and unlockables have me looking forward to the release. This title is the first game being made by a solo developer, Mark, also known as Reality Adrift Studio. Button Pop is available to wishlist on Steam now, and you can check out some interesting devlogs and tutorials from Mark on his YouTube channel, Reality Adrift Studio, which I'll link below. Number 4, Crab Champions. This is a unique and captivating game inspired by Neustrom's Crab Rave music video, which began as an April Fool's joke. In this light-hearted game, players take control of powerful crabs, navigating through stunning environments and engaging in a variety of challenges. Claw your way across exotic islands, combining fluid movement with fast-paced combat to become a crab champion in this third-person shooter with roguelike elements. The game is already available on Steam Early Access, however if you're familiar with the videos in this playlist, you'll know that I tend to create any Early Access games as still being made with rather than released with, due to so many titles never reaching that full 1.0 release. Saying that though, Crab Champions is already looking great with a charming style, an interesting take on the roguelike genre, a broad range of pickups and weapon options, and reports that the balancing is already leading to some fun, and engaging runs. Number three, Ghost Knight, colon, a dark tale. Just a quick aside here, let me know in the comments down below, what are people thinking about the colons in the middle of titles? Is that something that we could probably be done with at this stage, or is that just me? Anyway, this is a 2.5D action platformer set in a dark, fancy world with a toon aesthetic. In this world, a mad king in search of immortality has opened portals to a dark dimension. As Ghost Knight, a spirit bound to a suit of armor, you must traverse an epic land of undead, demons, witches, and beasts to stop the mad king's misguided quest. And along the way, freeing the land of Laurentia from the mad king. Currently, there isn't much information about this game, however, it's shaping up to be a great addition to the block platformer style of game, similar to titles such as Wonder Boy. Number 2 Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara. Join Koa and her best friend on an action-packed adventure through the islands of Mara. Avoid traps, maneuver dangerous environments, and explore a series of dazzlingly different landscapes on their quest to recover stolen pirate loot. Unlock an archipelago piece by piece, from sandy beaches to bubbling volcanoes, there's no shortage of charming and colourful islands to visit. Each level offers beautiful visuals, rich with detail and depth. You can relax and unwind, or knuckle down and challenge yourself. From newcomers to speedrunners, Koa and the Five Pirates is a buccaneering adventure for all. 
This is a game that I discovered during the Steam Next Fest event, and I had the chance to play the demo. It caught my attention from the perspective of being a developer. I was quite interested in how many of the default Unreal Engine features were being used. With Koa and her movements, it's difficult to tell if the default character class is being implemented here, but this is difficult to tell in a good way, as the movement feels fluid and responsive, and with a range of skills from sprinting, double jump, and ground pound, it makes the game fun to navigate the different environments. And it doesn't suffer from what you'll probably hear me speaking of quite a lot in these videos, that default fill from the Unreal Engine character class. And number one, Poglings. Poglings is a cute pet simulation and creature collecting adventure. You play as Keeble, a young boy who has taken up the profession of becoming a Pogling Hatcher. Each day offers new opportunities, fun and unique challenges as you make friends and grow your nest of Poglings. Put in a hard day's work and some of the more colourful and rare Poglings could be yours. Explore your island, discover the secrets and race against other Poglings. If you learn enough, you could become a Master Hatcher. Keeble has set sail to an assigned island along the Wild Vine, a scattered chain of tropical islands inhabited by magical creatures called Poglings. Currently, the features boast of raising, breeding, and evolving over 400 possible Pogling variants, exploring your islands, locating treasure, and discovering many other secrets, quests and challenges to complete, catching bugs, going fishing, growing food, and feeding and growing your Poglin nests, earning money, making upgrades to the nest, and taking full ownership of your island. And of course, you can race against other Poglings to earn titles, medals, and other rewards. Poglings looks to take inspiration from a couple of my all-time favourite games, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. It strips back the fast, action-packed platforming and emphasises the Chow Garden feature. This game is actually looking to take shape of an idea that I've been wanting to create as a personal project, so it'll be great to have a chance to play the game, that I would otherwise be responsible for creating. It does, however, mean that I need to be coming up with some new game ideas. So, yeah. That aside, though, the game is already looking great, and the developers seem to be getting ready to launch a Kickstarter to help fund the remaining development. At the time of recording this, I think the Kickstarter is two or three days away from launching, so by the time this goes live, the Kickstarter may already be in full force. So if this is something that you're potentially interested in supporting, be sure to take a look and I'll be updating the description with links to things like the Kickstarter page as and when they go live. 